Hello everyone, and welcome back to another eClinical Works tutorial video. Today we'll be focusing on preventative medicine. So as always, we start at the top of our progress note, and we're going to scroll way down, past our subjective with all of its histories, past the objective, the assessment, and into our plan. And here we are, right between procedure order and next appointment is preventative medicine. Now, as you can see, there's already been a little bit of something done here, so let's go inside and see what we can do. And also note that this is a future date, an encounter in the future. You usually won't see this, but just be aware of it because you might run across it at some point in your time. And here's our clipboard with the exclamation point. That's our preventative medicine icon. And here under applicable care, as you can see, something has already been done. However, notice that when there is an S like this, that means it's going to be a little bit more involved than a usual template. And so here we are. Notice that the values in this case are a series of yes and no's. So we can continue on just to show, for example, it doesn't necessarily have to be only yes or no, there are other options, but we'll just continue with what we were given. And there's a note section just like in other templates, and here we have a free section. And that's how free text is going to look. So if we press OK, it's going to add to what's already there. Here we have other sections. And going under notes, again, it's what we're more used to. We have the limited options on the side with the free text here. And that's how that's going to show up. So let's go ahead and have a look at what that's going to look like from the outside. Now notice here that we have a few extra features that we didn't have before. So let's go ahead and go back inside for another moment. Work on one or two more templates. And as always, we're going to see this if we're in one of those notes. So let's find another template. See? There are no items configured for selected category mental status. Well, that basically just tells you that you will have to type in freely whatever it is that you want to say if this is what you choose to use. Let's move on to a different one, just to get some more breath. I'm just going to add one or two things. And again, this is just to highlight what it would look like from the outside. So now we have an additional template. And unfortunately, unlike some of our other templates from further up, it doesn't have this nice purple highlighting as it does here. So for whatever reason, the preventative medicine section uses all black text. So that's just something to keep in mind. But wait, there's one more thing we have to go over. Does anyone remember what this yellow arrow means from some of the other videos? That's right, it's your option to copy or merge. So let's go ahead and pick this one. Let's go ahead and merge that in. All right, it looks like in this case there wasn't much to add, but that is how that procedure would look. Well, hopefully you got something out of this preventative medicine section. It tends to be one of the last sections that you see before you finish the note, and in a lot of cases, there may not be very much applicable to your specialty. However, it's important to at least go over to make sure that the patient is otherwise healthy, not for your particular specialty, but for some of the others. So in this section, we learned about preventative medicine, which is mostly templates, but as you can see, there's a little bit more complicated forms of templates than we're used to in some of the other sections. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you again next time.